Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Genesis chapter 5, verse 3, as well as 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Help us to walk with authority, walk with our appointment, and help us to take our rightful places. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Genesis chapter five, verse three. We've had this particular scripture twice now and um, not with, conflated with this, but this particular scripture has come up twice, which made me um, look up some more stuff. So it says, when Adam had lived one thir 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. Okay, so I looked up the Strong's Concordance for 130, and it means the shedding of blood. And also it, it means to um, not hate your brother, the Edomite. All right, so those were the two meanings of 130. And then Seth, the name Seth, was what I, which is what I was led to look up what the meaning of the name Seth was. And it means appointed or placed. Appointed or place. So we know that appointed means decided beforehand or designated, right? And then the the placed um it means scheduled or prearranged. All right, so something is being scheduled has already been scheduled and meaning when it says placed meaning past tense of being placed. So uh, of place. So um, we have a place, it's done, it's settled, it's finished, um, it's been prearranged, it's been scheduled, it's been decided beforehand, all right? And so because of this arrangement, this scheduling, it's already decided, it's already done, right? And so therefore, um, the second scripture, let's look at the second scripture, second Corinthians chapter five. Yes, we are of good courage and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Wow. And we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Okay. So I've read, you know, other scriptures that sound very similar to this, but this specific scripture is not that scripture. So it's saying that I would rather, yes, we are of good courage and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So this placement that has already occurred, our appointment, the thing that has been designated, something has already been designated, something has already been arranged, something is scheduled from beforehand, right? And so because of that, we are about to be with our God. <laughs> so if that doesn't sound like a scripture conflation, right? The Lord has given us two scriptures that go together that says that we're going to a place that has already been designated. And that place is with the Lord, our appointment, our status, our, who we are, when we get there has already been designated by the Lord. And how has it been designated? Remember that one thirty? it's through the shedding of blood. Wow. Through the shedding of blood, we have, we have been appointed right? We, we have a rightful place. We are heirs in the body. We are heirs. And because we've suffered a little while, then we'll be able to reign with him, right? And so therefore you have a place, you have, a, you have authority, you have a rightful place that has been designated, scheduled, pre-arranged, right? Remember Christ died before the foundation of the earth. So all of this was foreknew. God knew all about it. Who would come, who would not come, who would be a part of the wise bride, who would not be a part of the, the wise bride, who would, who will clean their garments, who won't, right? And God knew it from beforehand. And, and God is telling us we are in an appointed place through the shedding of blood. We are at this place. It's already been designated, past tense, designated, prearranged, beforehand, decided, and we've been placed, 
Wow. God has got us in a special place right now. And then he says this, yes, we are of good courage. That means that we need to think in a, in a way that is encouraged by it, right? We need to be encouraged in this place. Yes, it feels like a place of weariness. And I'm going to just be honest, like just tiredness, mental tiredness, and just, you know, Lord, help me, right? Um, With the daily struggles of life, these afflictions that we deal with in daily life, right? But of course, like we, he's revealed to us, this is not as of silver, like Christ went through. This is an affliction of of the body, the things that we go through as men, right? These are normal afflictions that men go through on a day-to-day basis. These are not afflictions as silver, but those who will be left, they will go through it as silver. They will be tried in the fire, the furnace of affliction. So we need to be of good courage right now. We need to be saying yes. We need to be ready for that transition, ready for that placement that's already been designated And then it says, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. We are about to to transition into another state and we're going to be at home with our father. Can you feel it? Can you feel the pull? I feel the pull, you guys. And, And we need to be walking in that. We need to be thinking on that. God is right here upon us. He is right here. This place that you're in right now has been designated. Glory be to God. It has been prearranged and scheduled. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. It is so encouraging. Your word is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. Help us to walk on that path that you have lit for us. Lord Jesus, help us to stay encouraged. Help us to remember your blood that you have shed, God. Lord God, let us walk in this special place, God. Help us to have oil in our lamps, God. Oil in our lamps, God. Refill our lamps with fuel, Lord God. Refill our lamps with oil. Help us to press on. Help us to keep running. Help us to maintain the pace, God. Help us to keep going, God, so that when you come to that door and you look out, you can see our face, God. God, you know who we are, God, and you let us in. We love you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Let our face shine, Lord God, for you. Let it shine. Let it be radiant for you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God, for your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. If you would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord and be a part of this appointed designated place, it's already been designated. So if you receive now, you you might have a spot there, right? You you need to you need to do your best and let God do the rest. Amen. Through the shedding of blood, you need to believe. So if you would like to believe on Jesus, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. And But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this, Jesus. Forgive me of all of my sins. Be my Lord. Sit on the throne of my heart. Lead me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you have prayed that prayer with me and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way he is going to lead you down right paths and he is going to guide you and and we need to be willing and let him yield to him. Amen. All right. And so um, one of the things that the Holy Spirit is going to do is lead you to a church home because he does not want us to forsake the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Um, He's going to show us other believers to be around so that we can stay sharp in the word of God. He's going to um, 
He's going to show us how to make disciples of all men, going out and telling other people about Christ. And he's also going to show us where we can go to get baptized in Jesus name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. So go out, listen to him, walk with him, and he is going to direct your path. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.